Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Space Engineers and today we here are, we're here on our ship and I just made enough parts hopefully for those connectors that we were talking about last time so let's go grab them shall we um, oh good, we got enough space I don't know how well this is going to go, I feel like this might go bad but we're going to do it, we're going to have fun doing it and if you don't like it, tough <clears throat> anyway, so what we're going to do is this is gonna go badly that's a definite for sure thing uh, connector was it called no um emerge so this turns it from a station to a ship so it's kind of interesting how this will work actually probably was a bad idea to keep that even still there but I want to see what happens in a sense now This is going to go so bad. <laughs> Hopefully, stationary merge works. Oh, here it goes. Oh, it's fighting. Interesting. I think we got the right spots for it too. What do you think? Just hit P and see what happens? This does not look safe at all. Oh, it works when you're in the cockpit. A little safer it seems. Here we go. Oh, that actually doesn't work like that. Okay. Oh! And, there we go. It actually all worked just fine. We have it connected, guys. That's awesome. So that means this platform technically now has power on it. And that's a good thing because we could start... Uh, sharing like we could start putting say the med bay on here and slowly moving things without crippling our entire operations um, plus uh, we have access to the new uh, cargo containers plus we can remove the thrusters because it's connected now so we don't have to worry about it flying away so that worked well I'm happy uh, so let's let's start with this um, let's start by removing just basic things over to uh, the c new cargo containers. Oh. Oh. Oh, you know what? It's merged into one ship. Of course. It's like, uh, it's not working, but because it's on the new ship, that's why. So we gotta go to control panel. Um, you could tell which one's owned by like the new ones because I didn't have a faction when we created one last episode and now we do so anything I built says share with faction so station uh, cargo s1 we could do something like this cargo s2 I never thought of labeling these for easy use three there you go so cargo there you go and uh oh yeah we put stuff in that one already <laughs> isn't like we need to remove anything else right now i think we're fine but i mean doing that would have been a pain over time and then we could start taking other things apart like our own uh like the thrusters things like that which we could start doing that now I'm really happy that worked out but you need to see how much a thruster fills up. Wow, okay. So a thruster fills a little over, well, almost entire inventory full. That's good to know, I guess. So one thruster at a time. Is it just me? Okay, that's just me. The drill colliding into things. I feel frig I was like so scared. I was like like I honestly thought like 
maybe I uh, screwed something up badly. Okay, that's going well. Okay, let's see here. Get rid of this thing up here. Hopefully nothing was connected to it. Nice. I don't want that gun yet. Soon. Soon, but not this second. So I climb up there, you know? Just get worried something's gonna go flying because I, like, forgot it or derped up. What makes good cheap station walls? Normal, um... Oops, what are these called? He says catwalks work, but they're and they're airtight, but they cost more than uh, normal blocks, so it's like, eh, never mind. Plus, we should probably use normal blocks because it'll all fit later on. Uh, did I just hit our medical bay accidentally? So you'll see. Actually, no, nothing should float away because then everything is stationed right now. I just thought of that. Nothing should float, right? Because it's a station. Let's we'll try this as a test. Yeah, nothing can float because it's a station, so that's cool. Um, what's this? Oh, it's a hopper or something, or a collector. So you could dump things into here and it just like automatically goes into the system, I guess. That's kind of cool. I don't think a lot of people use those anymore with the connectors and stuff. Maybe they do. I don't know. I just feel like there's no real big need anymore. There we go.
Yeah, those thruster components, I like think, uh, wasn't the small ships like literally like one? So we'll get like insane amount of small ship thrusters out of those over time. Okay. Well, we're getting a lot of good parts out of this, that's for sure. You get more out of this ship than you do, like, say, the starting base is the station. Or I shouldn't say station, but, like, you know, the, the other one. Though that would be kind of fun. I always play single player, and I never, like, you know, play with one of the other ones where you start with a big ship or anything like that. But then again, I always felt like maybe that was a little overpowered. But it would be kind of cool. Um, okay, so yeah, we're, we're doing really well here. Probably do this for a while. Now imagine having what did I say our inventory was about five times the size? So imagine having five times less inventory, how annoying this would be. You'd have to have for sure a, a special ship for that. Let's go here, guys. Whoa. Oh, yellow mean or red means it's almost full, I guess? Or is it full? No, it had room. That's good. Almost started the drop parts. We're getting there. I'm really happy I decided to go with the merge block and the connector and stuff just to make life a lot easier doing this process. Starting to get more room in here now. Yeah, there's two types of things. This is a small steel tube, and this one's the girder or whatever. Um, the girder looks too close to the friggin' tube, so it kind of gets annoying at times. Um, oh, you know what we can take that is worth a lot of resources? This thing. Look how much iron plates it has in that. Inventory filled up really fast there. We could remove some of these other things, like these look like they support nothing. Mainly because it's not floating, it's stationary, right? So you have to remember it is a station now, so. That's the idea of how this works, so.
Oh, my poor energy is almost low. Energy low. Let's we'll sit here and recharge. The lazy route version of it. Okay. Oh, I remember that gravity. Okay, let's see here. We could probably get rid of the chair now. Probably use the chair though. Um, like I'll place it down over here for now, just because it's useful for charging up and AFKing or whatever. Uh, which one did we have? Did we have the small one? I think it was the small one we had. Has less glass, basically. Oh, where do you even put it, to be honest? So this will be a good first test. Like, I should be able to get into this, and you should be able to see that... Uh, we uh, have power and it'll charge my energy so my energy is 90 right now there you go this is connected through the connector block the merge block sorry and the connector block actually so um yeah we're doing good i guess uh gravity generator now Almost got all of it. Gravity generator. I don't even know where to place it. it. Doesn't really matter too much. Put it right here. Let's we'll turn off our jetpack for fun. Oh, we can't reach that close anymore. Oh, I need more uh, parts. Last couple pieces, I guess, were vital. I just wanted to do this so I float while I weld this, and then I'm like, okay. Is the jetpack off? Oh crap. There you go. And then I hopefully the gravity kicks in and drops me. There you go. <laughs> just silliness, I know. I liked it. This should probably kick us off, no? Maybe it has a good expansion size when you first do it. Okay, let's go up here and Still connected, right? We'd hate to unconnect that. It's our power. If we die right now, there's no way back to this base ever because we have we have no beacons or anything, which is something I need to build. Uh, not just a beacon, but a, whatever you want to call them, uh, a radar or an antenna. There you go, an antenna. I mean, we can get back as the medical thing, but. Once we move that, there really isn't anything holding us back. <laughs> oh, 
It looks like this one can actually be moved, I think. Is it connected on the next block over? Kind of? Barely? Guess it is. Wait, where's the reactor, by the way? Oh, there it is. I don't remember even, like, moving that or anything. I always thought the reactor was, like, where the gravity generator was, but it wasn't, of course, but... I always felt like it would belong there. Maybe it was somewhere there one time and they moved it when they got all the conveyors and stuff, but who knows. Probably making that all up for fun. Um, okay, so... Yeah, probably time for this, huh? So now we're dead in space, in a sense. Okay, so reactor, small reactor. Uh, we're going to want it connected to the tubes as well. Oh, but it looks so pretty there. Maybe like that. Oh, you know what, though? That kind of, hmm. That might have some problems there. Just because if we want, like, the storage and we want to continue the line, like, left kind of thing, and there's no opening anymore and you want a manual access to this too so let's do it maybe here instead like I like that I don't like it flipped that way but it's like can I get it on this way oh like that yeah like that would that work That way, it's connected to the system as well, so you can auto-feed the reactor, of course, when you're refining and whatnot. But uh, at the same time, we have an access port. Plus, we left this open so we can extend the conveyor system a bit more. And there it goes. Everything's powered up again. Though, those aren't connected anymore, so that's problematic. I don't know what happens if I let go here. Uh... Let me go V. Connect. Oh, okay. I guess merge blocks might be something else, or maybe you have to manually do that. I just want to get those connected again. Um, okay, so... I guess the next biggest task here, which is our most important task, is the medical bay. Wow, my inventory is already full. Was it already getting full, or is it just some ridiculous amount of... Something to that. Hmm. Medical. This is when I die accidentally somehow. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. Wow, my volume actually went down. It must be the medical resources or something. That takes a lot, yeah. Wow. Don't... Don't ram into this and die, Kane. It's game over. And to your plate, nice. Okay. This should get the rest of it and we're good to go. She is. Boom. And there we have it. So we're safe. We're here. We got all of our main components down here, like the gravity generator, the reactor, our three cargo containers, the med bay. Um, everything is good here. It's safe. Uh, the next thing I guess that we would probably move would be uh, the oxygen system. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we'll probably move it like maybe on top of that. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But either way, I'm going to call it an episode because I think we did really well here. And uh, we will be back doing some more fun stuff. Moving the rest of it down here and then maybe even slowly sealing this up. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. Please check the link in the description if you want more information on the server or mods we're using, etc. 
and thank you again for watching.